Hey guys, so I have sunglasses on because my eyes all watery and red and stuff and you don't want to look at that. So anyway, today's video is about coming out. I'm going to try and keep it relatively short because I've talked about this a little bit in other videos. But there are definitely some things I haven't mentioned that I think would be helpful to some people, hopefully. Um, I came out, like I've said, when I was about 14 or 15 and I did it before I really thought about it. I didn't have a plan, really. I was just feeling really emotional and was used to being able to go to my mother and talk to her about stuff like that, so I did. Uh, it was maybe not the wisest idea. So, like I said in my last video, I would suggest that, like an article I read recently that was actually really helpful, and I wish I'd read it at the time, it said that People come out to their parents because either they feel obligated or they're looking for emotional support. And the best thing to do in that situation is to think, okay, is coming out to my mom or my dad at this moment going to improve our relationship? Because in some cases, it's not going to. And in some cases, if you're looking for that emotional support, they're not going to be in a place to give that to you for quite a while, maybe weeks, maybe months, maybe years. Um, so if that's why you're coming out, then it might be worth it to look a little bit deeper into that and decide if maybe doing that later would be better for you and for your relationship with that person. Um, I think it's the same way with friends or um, coworkers or anything like that. Think about, is it going to improve my relationship with this person and do they really need to know? Um, also, I would say, ideally, come out in person, but I know that that's hard for a lot of people. I know a lot of people have trouble explaining how they feel, a one-on-one, -on -one, impromptu like that. Maybe, if that's the case for you, write something down and read off of it. But I think um, a lot of people, especially parents or family members, will get really uncomfortable or even hurt with the idea that you don't feel like you can talk to them about it. So I think a lot of the times a letter can backfire. But if that really is what you feel is the best option for you, I'm you know by no means saying you shouldn't do it ever. Um, also, keep it simple at first. They're going to ask questions, but don't um, preempt their potential misconceptions. Don't say, well, this doesn't mean that blah blah blah, because maybe they weren't even thinking about that, and then you bring it up, and then they are. Um, so I would say an initial letter conversation or whatever you do, just keep it really simple. Just explain it um, in the way that it makes sense to you, or in the way depending on how well you know them and how they think, the way it might make sense to them. If somebody's really science-minded, maybe explain it in a more scientific way. If somebody's really emotional, um, talk more about how you feel. Um, but <clears throat> I think that a lot of people make the, the mistake of sort of apologizing for themselves when they come out um, about any queer identity, but especially about trans identities because we're told so often that our identities aren't legitimate or that they have to be justified. So I think the best thing to do is A, don't feel a need to apologize or justify your identity, um, and B, don't um, fall into the trap of coming out incrementally. Um, if you're not sure about your identity yet and you really don't need to come out to that person yet, maybe don't, because um, if you come out as, okay, I think that, um, you know, I'm binary identified. Well, no, never mind. I think I'm actually more genderqueer. Um, no, never mind. I thought about it some more. I'm more binary identified. However, that process goes for you. Um, people who don't really understand how fluid identity is or how hard it is to really know what your identity is may see that as, you know, proof that. Um, your your identity isn't really real or that you don't really know what you want. So um, resist the urge to or, or to come out um, as something that's not really you because you think it would be less threatening or worrying to whoever that is at the time and you hope that you can get them used to that and then um, come out as who you truly are. Um, 
try and make coming out a one-time thing. I know for some people it's not that easy, but um, don't don't purposefully extend it just to make the first time easier for you. Um, so I think that's uh, that's pretty much all the advice I can offer. Um, I hope that that's helpful. I think this is a really interesting topic because I know we're going to have so many different varieties of, you know, people who haven't come out yet, people who have come out, people who came out years ago, people who might have come out last week. Um, and I think it's really helpful for other trans people to see people's experiences and to take what makes sense to you from that. If I say something and you think, well, I don't, I think the exact opposite of that, that's fine um, because it's all individual. And so hopefully I've been helpful, but if I haven't, that's okay too. And I will see you guys next week.